Hey everybody, my name is Matthew McCauley, and I'm here today to talk to you about the Valdivia earthquake. The Valdivia earthquake occurred on May 22nd, 1960, at approximately 3.11 p.m., 100 miles off the coast of Chile. This is one of the most destructive earthquakes in human history and still stands as the largest according to the Richter scale, standing at a magnitude of 9.5. The source of the earthquake was around a uh, 620 mile long strip of the Nazca plate subsidizing under the South American plate. There was actually an earthquake of 8.1 magnitude uh, the day before that caused havoc in the city of Concepcion in Chile. This was just a precursor of all the destruction to come. The earthquake lasted around 10 minutes with the weaker aftershocks the month after. The devastation of the Valdivia earthquake is really beyond description. The earthquake, along with the 80-foot tsunami it caused on the coast of Chile, resulted in around 1,655 deaths and around 3,000 injuries. The earthquake itself was really felt around the world as it caused casualties in Hawaii, California, Japan, and the Philippines by the waves it caused. It totaled in around 231, de 231 deaths, not in Chile, and waves up to 35 feet in Hawaii. The total economic damage was 550 million in Chile in 1960, which is around 4.8 million now. It also caused a flooding and destruction of many Spanish forts and many waterways throughout central Chile. Two days later, the Cardon Call volcano in Chile's Lake District erupted due to the earthquake, although no casualties were reported. The earthquake completely ravished the agricultural economy um, that Chile is known for, and it ravished it for years upon years. The earthquake also managed to stretch the area of land in Chile by around 30 feet, completely expanding the entire country. Uh, it did this in around the fraction of a minute uh, that it um, happened. Not much else is known about the environmental impacts of the Valdivia earthquake. Um, I, I really don't believe there's any lessons that can be learned from an earthquake of this magnitude. By all accounts, in 1960, Chile was a first world country and a um, well-prepared one at that um, for an earthquake. But there really is simply no way a country can not even imagine coming out of a 9.5 magnitude earthquake unscathed. Um, anything of that magnitude is easily going to destroy a country to its core and cause hundreds if not thousands of death, deaths no matter what country it is. All we can do is hope and pray that an earthquake of this magnitude will never hit any other country again.